this is the Mayor of Gaming, and welcome back to more Let's Play Quest for Infamy. Now, what we're going to do is rest. You rest for a little while and feel better. Okay, can I? You rest. For Dang it! The whole plan was to. Uh... You can't sleep right. You rest. You you rest. You you st you stop, rest, and waste some time for a while. Ladies. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought I could skip around to different times. Evening is for Okay, there's the As evening. the day winds down, you decide to check out the Oh performance yeah, the performance. The oh, damn it. Oh well. A street magician is performing his act in the market. The townspeople all look happy with his little show. <laughs> you've seen worse, but you've also seen better. Hey there, little man. What's where you're going? Well, that's not very nice at all. You should really have more confidence in yourself. <laughs> huh? You said little man. And I assumed you were talking to your, um, twig and plums. What? No, I... Oh, well then, do your bullocks get in the way again? <laughs> oh, I see. So maybe you're just looking for me to pound you. Absolutely not. I just think you should see a doctor about your swollen boys. They're obviously making you cranky, Mr. Uh... I'll kill you! Okay, Mr. I'll kill you. But I really don't know how you can fight with your bits all sore like that. You are dead meat, pal. You're not able to throw okay. your... Keep that in mind. It was slashing. There I guess we go. Gorth wasn't as tough as people said he was. You manage to overpower Gorth, and he falls to the ground. You wonder if you should put him out of his misery, or let him live to pick another fight another day. We'll let him live. Let him remember how he got humiliated. You decide to show mercy and let Gorth live. It seems many of the bystanders respect that decision. What's going on here? Well, this big guy came out of nowhere. Gorth bumped into him and attacked him. We all saw it. Is this true? Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'd believe it. Gorth is always starting trouble. This was clearly self-defense, Mr. Rome. I know it was. I was there, <laughs> defending myself. I don't like trouble in my town, though, Mr. Rome. If trouble seems to find you here once again, I shall be forced to do something about it. Do you understand? Crystal clear, boss. All right. Somebody take care of Gorth, and the rest of you stop gawking. Musicians, play some music. Mr. Rome, I'd appreciate if you'd stop by my office sometime tomorrow. Will do, Chief. Yeah, sure, why not? You did a good thing. That Gorth was a real bastard. Yeah, he was always bothering my wife. One time, he punched me for drinking my ale too fast. <laughs> One time, he punched me for drinking my ale too slow. One time, he punched me. <laughs> he used to walk into my home Fart and leave. You're a hero, Mr. Rome. Oh boy. After your battle with Gorth, you oh, return damn. to the inn to get a good sleep. You awaken much refreshed. Well, here I was hoping I could break in somewhere. Wonder if you can do that during the day. Wonder if that's a good idea. That's <sighs> probably not. Um head back downstairs. Well well. It's the man who took down Gorf the Menace. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Kessel. I was just defending myself. Hell of a defense, sir. It impressed most of the town. They haven't seen me that yet. Well, needless to say, they had Gorf taken over to the House of Recovery over in Tyr. They think he'll be in there for at least a month. And after that, Rayford had him banished from town under threat of death. 
Good. Our reefer is pretty tough. Could have been worse, though. We could have seen Gore's head outside the gate, eh? Well, the farmers that hang out over in the pub wanted me to tell you that your ale is on them today. <coughs> Excuse me. Sounds like a tasty proposition. Just might have to make my way over there mm. to take them up on that. You should. It'll be fun. Old Martin Japsworth's back in town too. He's what we like to call a hoot. <laughs> a hoot, huh? Yeah, if we get him drunk, he'll start telling all manner of wild stories. That does sound like a hoot. Yes, sir. He's usually in there at night. Lord knows where he is during the day. Probably sleeping off last night's mistakes. Oh, somebody dropped this note off for you. Squirrely looking lad. Hmm. You grab the note, open it and glance. Okay. Thanks, Kessel. Appreciate it. No problem, sir. Hi, Kessel. Hello, sir. Yeah, nope, nothing. You be having a good breakfast today, yeah? You sit down at the Here's your meal, Mr. Rowan, sir. Thank you. Looks lovely. Thank you, dear. You wolf down all the food and give a proper belch. Hello, Mr. Rowan. Anything new? Uh, nope. Okay. Well, it was lovely talking to you. Oh, such a gentleman. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's head out here. Uh, you should go see Rayford this morning. Yeah. He did ask you to come. And okay, so we'll go to Rayford. Kind of bummed. I'm not really doing any burglarizing. Nice moves with Gorth. Don't worry. Next time I got your back, you'd be surprised the damage one pissed off guy in a wheelchair can do. I've seen it before, actually. It's pretty awesome. Oh, hello. Are you feeling okay today? That was some fight yesterday. To be honest, it was about time someone stood up to Gorth. I was tired of having to throw him in the cells for a night. He used to give me wedgies through the bars. And this doesn't surprise me somehow. Why, hello, Mr. Rowe. Thanks for coming to see me. Yeah, no problem. No problem, Mr. Rayford. Just Rayford is fine. I don't need the honorific of Mr. Okay. Well then, Rayford, what can I do for you? Well, I was just curious as to what you plan to do here. I'm just staying for a few days. All right. I assume since you came from the east, you're in no hurry to go back there. And considering the bridge is closed up north, I'd say you're waiting for that. Yeah. I'd say that's a correct assumption. Look, I just want to maintain the peace and equilibrium in this town. Do you understand? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. It's taken me time to bring some order to this land, and barring the buzz of some local brigands or the ornery hunters in the south, <laughs> I have pretty good control over my citizens. Look, I'm not here to get involved or stir up the pot. Seriously, I'm just looking to stop here on my way through. We've got business and friends in the north. I'd like to get there with little incident. Excellent. Yeah. You understand, I have to make sure. I don't like trouble, Mr. Rome. Who does? Trouble's bad for the soul and for your mind. Yeah, right? Yeah. Well then, take care here in our town. You may enjoy yourself over at Armand's or the pub. Well do. Yeah, you know, everything's all good. Not planning on uh, nicking everything as soon as I get a chance to. Um, so, yeah, let's... Uh, you know, let's, let's, let's screw it. We're, I'm feeling ballsy. Let's uh, try sneaking in the middle of the day. And then we'll go to the pub, get nice and drunk. Get, oh, we're gonna meet Ian too, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, first things first, we save. Next, we take our lockpicks. Yes, and here we go. Taking Agile Thieves Kit, you, you can't pick the lock. It's Taking agile, you can't. Taking, 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 you can't. I'm sure no one goes to the bank, so you know why not. 
Yes, yes, yes. Keep keep spinning around in circles. Maybe maybe it'll open. Taking. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as this is happening, um, I guess I'll tell about uh, when I was playing Quest for Glory originally. Um, I played as the mage, so this is actually quite different from what I'm used to. Although I am familiar with uh, what it's like to be the thief in there. I watched a few uh, let's plays of it, of uh, you know, thief-like characters sneaking in and it, uh, sneaking in and burglarizing houses. It actually looked pretty fun, but uh, you know, it's just I, I wanted to try something different this time. I really debated on playing as a sorcerer again or wizard. Ma eh, magic user is what they called it in that one. Take um, you know, Take kind of a compare and contrast, Take but eh, the thief Take sounded too fun. You know, change of pace. Take yes, yes, yes. Take you can't pick the one. Taking Take Take <sighs> You know, this actually happens a few times in the older games too. You know, I, I actually wonder. Okay, I'm at 34 right now. Um, I wonder if they kept this gem. Uh, okay. There must be a better. There must. Okay. Originally, if you try to uh, use the lock picks on yourself, uh, with you get pick nose or whatever, you'd slide a lock pick up into your nose, and it would, uh, you know. Hit your brain, and you would die. Taking Okay, how how late is it getting? Okay, it's still very early. I want to break into a place. Click 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 click. Taking <sighs> Well, my theory skills are skyrocketing right now. I guess that's something. Taking Just. You can hear the homeowners talking about tea or something beyond the door. Ah. You know, I wonder if that, if it ever unlocks during the day. That, hmm, that'd be interesting. Okay, well, uh, that was a waste of time. Sorry about that. Uh, let's head to the pub. He ignores you. Perhaps you should talk. Okay. Hey, you be taking care of yourself, sir. Yeah, you seem like a nice fella. A bit rough around the edges. Well, if it isn't Mr. Bruiser himself. Mr. Festicoffs. Mr. Arse Kicker. That was a hell of a fight, young man. Thank you. I haven't seen anything that vicious since Laddie came home drunk and tried to have his way with the family dog. Didn't need to hear about that, Barth. That wasn't my fault. In my defense, he looked very similar to my wife. You've got a point there, sir. Too much information, Olaf. Anyway, disgusting stories about <laughs> dogs aside. Sir, Gorth has been a pain in the ass this town for years. And thanks to you, I don't think you'll be much trouble for a while. Amen! Once, he made me smell his butt because I stepped on his shoes. One time, he threw me in my own heap of cow manure because he said my corn was too mushy. So we're buying your ale tonight. Go on over and talk to Kit. You're all taken care of. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate the gesture. But Gorth merely picked a fight with the wrong man. Or oh, the right man, eh? Or drink to <laughs> that. Salut! 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 Ah, <sighs> well then. Might as well grab a drink. Well there. It appears you're all taken care of tonight. Farmer's got your tab. Well, I'm lucky. Give me a pint to start. <laughs> you got it. Just don't get so drunk you start trouble in here. Well, who? The farmers? I like them. And I'm not dumb enough to start with Curd. One bly, one bly, ten blies, five blies, yeah. And that's really all I needed. I just you quickly slip. Snag that, I think. See if I need more than that. Um, okay. Goodbye, sir. 
Well, thank you. It'd be rude of me not to take a free drink, right? Okay, now off to our friend. Uh, I wonder if he's going to be in the little uh, place over here or if he's... Okay, he's in the Thieves Guild proper. So, because I don't have the map yet, nor do I have goods I could fence, um, I'm going to have to just make my way there. Um, actually, if I get the gold, maybe I could just buy it myself. Hmm. Okay, keep my eye out for uh, goblins and the like. Uh, nothing. I'm going to take a look around see if I can't get into a fight real quick. Oh, hey. That is quite a mighty looking beehive. Not going to bother them. Not at all. Stinging insects are generally not on my list of things I like to deal with. No, actually, what's this? You try with all your might. Okay, eh, just not hole in a tree. I thought, you know, hey, maybe it hides something. You never know. Head in this direction. Okay, we'll head back into the forest. Maybe we'll find a monster. I hope. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay. Um. Why would you give? Why? Okay. You can't attack that. You can't attack. Damn it. So, do I need an actual um throwing dagger or something? I mean, you can feel something. Oh well. There we go. That does a lot of damage. Okay. There we go. Well done. You've defeated yet another foe. So. All right. What do you got on you? Searching the corpse. Okay. Good amount of lies. Uh, how much does that leave me with? Does not say. I gotta find my bag of coin. Yep. Look. It's a leather pouch filled with coins of very. You have some bly though. Okay, so I gotta find a little bit more. I want to buy that map. Shouldn't have bought those bombs. You know, it kind of put me a bit over. I think they seem to like to hang around this area. Yeah. Mm, nothing here. Let's check over here. This is where the beast was, so. Was it? Was it over here? Was it somewhere else? I don't know. Uh, we'll head back. Head on up here. See, in uh, Quest for Glory, they had a uh, training ground area. Well, quote-unquote training ground. It was just an area where you'd fight a shit ton of goblins. Pretty handy for farming coins for a fighter. Mages, uh, they had a bit of a tougher time. Okay, so we're back to civilization. God damn it. Head over, back over here. Maybe anything. Just want a monster to kill. Okay, let's try a little north of here. Whoa! Oh, hey. He's a very earthy-looking man, and while his demeanor seems warm, you do sense some kind of cold. Uh, let's talk to him. Hello there. Hello there, fellow traveler. Uh, what's your name? My name is Jack, and 
you are? You can call me Rome. Very nice, Mr. Rome. Uh, well, yes. I am just a traveler passing through, but I've come to enjoy these woods. They're quite peaceful compared to the south woods. They're full of brutish men. Ah, uh, the hunters. I, I also suppose I enjoy this because the power of magic runs strong in this forest, although I sense both good and evil magics abound. Mostly sadness, though. Hmm. Magic. Yes, I'm a practitioner of the magical arts. I tend to favor earth and ice magics. Hmm. Wonderful. Goodbye, sir. And yours, too. As long as you don't target me with any of them ice spells or earth spells, uh, you know, you got nothing wrong. You, you give yourself the... Okay. There's a post stuck in the ground here with an iron ring attached. It's used to tie a horse up with. Hmm. Hitching post. You're on a ledge high above a waterfall in the corner of the valley. The majesty of the waterfall here immediately catches your eye. It's most impressive. This is probably the most amazing part of the valley. Nice. I sense a Sierra death. Okay, good. The water collects in a deep blue pool below the waterfall. Before hmm. This old tree looks pretty sturdy. You figure it'd hold your weight if you tied a rope to it. Can I climb it? Yes. You climb the tree. I got, I got the practice, yeah. Nothing wrong with a little practice. Let's head this way. See. You've entered a rather ominous hmm. looking part of the valley. From the smell, you determine this is a swamp. Wonderful. You notice a small boy sitting near the edge of the entrance. Whoa. Hey, mister. Hello hey. yourself, little master. What are you doing in the swamp? Enjoying the sights. <laughs> You're funny, mister. Thanks. Hello, sir. Hobbs. <laughs> Hello there, young man. How can I help you? Uh, what's your name? I'm Hobbs. I live in Volksville. Have you been there? Yes. Well, uh, yeah, I... There's all kinds of neat stuff in there, huh? Sometimes I play near Rayford's house, but he always yells at me for making too much noise. He's always yelling at us kids to stay away from his well. So I come out here to play. He doesn't bother me up here. It's not such a bad place. I mean, you do have to watch out for swamp rapides and other monsters. They never catch me, though. I'm too fast. Wonderful. I never come in here at night, though. Too scary without fireflies. Well, what are you doing? Oh, I like to play in here. And I collect plants for Jared, the town pharmacist. They help make his potions, and he gives me a few blies. Hmm. I need to get some more fireflies, though, before I can do anything. Fireflies? Well, it's so dark and thick in the swamp, I usually bring some fireflies in to help me see. I'll bring them in and let them go so I can see around. Hmm. Well, I usually put some glowing fungus in the bottom of a glass jar, and that just attracts them like crazy. Huh. I found fireflies near the farm just outside of town, but I know there's some out in the grasslands, too. Where'd you find the fungus? Well, I didn't get that myself. Jared gave some of that to me. He said it was the last of it he had. Hmm. He did say he got it from somewhere up north of town, but that I shouldn't go there either. Probably the graveyard. Goodbye, sir. Happy trails. Let's head into the ominous, uh, ominous swamp. Why not, right? Don't see anything wrong with that. It's pitch dark in here. I can see something wrong with that. I take it all back. Okay. Let's head back, see if we can't find a fight in the area. If not... Eh. I'll be a little perturbed. Mm, nope. This way, maybe? No? Eh? Okay, well, um, I think that'll just about do it for this episode. Uh, yes, we'll enter right here, why not? Um, 
This has been the Mayor of Gaming. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and hopefully I'll see you next time on more uh, Let's Play Quest for Infamy. Till next time, have a good one. You could use that on the beehive, oh. but then I'd have to proclaim you king of the ass. <coughs> and in the old days, we'd have booted you to DOS. Try something different. Well, fine. Have a good night, everybody.